Guys, we're here in Sydney, Australia. Uh, looking outside my balcony here. There's Darling Harbour. Don't go around here. It really doesn't help the angle at all. on my phone see I'm not using my camera because my camera only records 720p yeah anyway let's have a look at uh, what's happened to my computer now if you have a look here you see that my computer is running Warframe my laptop is running OBS I uh, can't exactly tell that the laptop is running OBS but they're both the same screen in fact I would show you that if I do that, oh, check that out! Dual screen, dual screen from my computer to my laptop. My computer is running. It's connected to my monitor, of course, and now my laptop is a second monitor. So you may be wondering, how do I do this? Well, that's why I'm here to show you. That's basically what this video is all about. Okay, so in order to get your dual screen onto your laptop. Now we're going to be using a program called Space Desk. Ignore that. <laughs> uh, we're going to be using a program called Space Desk. So in order to find Space Desk, you can literally just Google it. Um, space Desk. Uh, there are plenty of other programs to use um, as, uh, as opposed to Space Desk, but right now I am just using Space Desk. It works, so I have no I have no qualms with uh, using it. You just go to the download section. Obviously, you download the the appropriate um, installer. So if your computer is 64 bit, if your Windows is 64 bit, or if your Windows is 32 bit, you know you can figure that out. Uh, to figure that out, uh, I have no idea where to how to figure that out. So just look around, find out if your Windows what what kind of um, version your Windows is. Uh, yeah. For Windows 7 users, for those who are still on Windows 7 actually, uh, you will require Service Pack 1 and you will require a specific update so you can just download it here. For everyone else who's on Windows 8 or higher, you don't need to actually download this. So, yeah. So just download it and install it on your laptop or you can either download the client version uh, or you can use the basic view which is actually a web browser based version. It doesn't work on Mozilla Firefox right now. Uh, <coughs> it requires the latest version of your web browser. It works on Chrome. I have not tried it on Internet Explorer but I assume it works on Internet Explorer. Uh, what are some of the others? Opera. I would assume it works on Opera and, and various other ones. But personally I would recommend using the client version because the browser version has actually lagged quite significantly on me once already, whereas the browser version hasn't yet. So, you know. But that's just how I feel. If you want to use the browser version, that's fine. You can go into using the browser version. You don't have to install anything onto your laptop. When you've done installing both programs onto you, your computer and your laptop, you actually have to restart your computer and laptop. That's that's just standard procedure, really, with uh, with installing things. Afterwards, you have to determine your main computer's IP address, which you will be, which will you you'll be then entering into your host. Pro well, you won't be actually entering it. You will be searching for it amongst a list um, from your host computers. Uh, from your host computer, as your host computer tries to find the IP address for your main computer. To determine your main computer's IP address, you just go to your network sharing center and click on whichever thing you want to use, whichever network you want to use, and you know, then you click on details and it will tell you in details. <coughs> so once you've clicked once you've determined which one you want to connect to, you just connect to it on your computer in, in the top left hand corner of your second computer's screen. There is literally like a file connect option and that's basically how you connect. It's pretty it's pretty straightforward actually. A couple of notes that I just want to uh, talk about just quickly. The host screen, so for in my case my laptop, uh, it seems to have a lower display frame rate when it comes to moving windows and using the mouse. So 
you know, you won't see it here in this video obviously because we're recording my main computer screen and my main computer is connected to my monitor which <coughs> does everything quite smoothly. But the difference comes with if I move my mouse over to my laptop, there is a noticeable lag. You won't be able to see it. Um, you, I, I don't know if this is um, universal on everyone or if it's a case-by-case -case basis. So, you know, just keep an eye on that. If you notice that your mouse or your mo uh, or your windows are kind of lagging uh, while you're moving around on your second computer, in my case, my laptop, uh, don't worry, that's something that I'm experiencing as well. The good news is that games and videos and other things that have a higher frame rate, they still appear smooth. I don't think they're running at... I don't think you'll be seeing them at full... 60 frames a second um, because it, there is still a slight note a noticeable slight lagginess to to their feel but that's fine you're not really playing them you're not really playing them on your secondary monitor hopefully you're, you're kind of going to be playing them on your, mi your main monitor so yeah but running YouTube videos in my experience at least seems to be pretty smooth on my laptop uh, so I'm actually using a LAN connection, so if we go back to my network sharing center, you'll notice that I actually have an Ethernet cable that's connected to an unidentified network. That's my Ethernet cable connecting directly from my computer to my laptop. Uh, our our wireless router is actually all the way on the in the other room, and there's simply no Ethernet cable in the universe that is long enough to connect. Uh, my computer directly to the internet and frankly you know what it doesn't really matter uh, it doesn't really matter all that much this connection between my computer and my laptop actually works which means that you don't actually you don't have to connect to the internet at all to uh, enjoy this particular program so that's great for me because everyone knows that Australian internet is a piece of crap so that's not going to be a problem. You also don't need to set both screens on the same resolution. So if you, so you may remember, ever, if you connect your computer to, say, uh, a projector, often it uh, it would cause your computer screen to become very, very, very low resolution, like a much lower resolution than before. You don't have to do that for this, but that might be because I'm extending my screen. If you want to change how you want your screen to uh, to look, you can press Windows P to project PC screen, duplicate, extend. I suspect duplicate it'll be this it'll it'll be the <coughs> it'll cause my screen to become a lower re lower resolution. So you know, keep that in mind. But it doesn't matter if both screens don't support the same resolution. Like my monitor supports 1080p, but my laptop only goes up to 900p, uh, which is 1600 by 900. So, you know, it, that's fine. It it actually works pretty well. Uh, even even the whole moving one window to another window, uh, to one window from one monitor to another monitor, that works perfectly fine. There's no problem with that. And finally, if you're running a game in full screen mode or Windows borderless mode, it will only run on your main screen. I would not recommend trying to run it on your secondary screen, i.e., my laptop. Uh, I've tried that once already. It crashed. So definitely recommend just sticking to your uh, your main computer. So what I'm doing, I'm using OBS on my secondary computer, uh, as you saw before. Using OBS on my secondary computer just to uh, keep an eye on my recording so that I know that I am recording and that the sound quality is still good. Plus it also allows me to keep an eye on frame rates, drop frames, uh, and, and bit rate, you know, all of that good stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have a if you have a if you have an old laptop uh, that you kind of just have sitting there being useless, you can now use it as a secondary screen and that's quite exciting. I've been looking around for this for a long time and finally I've come on finally I found it. So, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> uh, Alright, so, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for more.
videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.